Alright, what's up guys, Azura here, and today we're going to take a look at, look at a deck profile that was uh, months before, and uh, the reason I never did this deck is because I thought always that this deck was very mediocre, and honestly, I still think that is true, but with just how the current meta of the game is, I think this deck has a very solid niche in what it does, so uh, today I'm here to talk about the leaders, more specifically the Vanish Delete Focus build. Uh, this deck is, in my opinion, like I said before, I still don't think it's particularly amazing. But uh, this deck plays really, really well into zero damage Luard and Luard in general. So I think just because of that, I think it's a worth at least it's at least worth talking about and, for, and to take a look over and to at least like introduce into light. Uh, I'm sure most people who've played uh, who play JP or follow JP a little bit know that zero damage Luard is the new crazy meta threat. And uh, if you also play ladder, you'll know that uh, the leaders are indeed running around everywhere. It's quite a common deck now uh, on ladder. Uh, same with Naru. Naru again, same little gimmick. They banish the drop zone, but I think this deck deals with Luard even better, just because uh, when you delete Luard, they, since the most Luard lists don't play a lot of grade threes, uh, they'll have to hard try after delete them because if you delete the Luard, if you delete Luard, they won't get their stride bonus to uh or their start of turn uh, skill to return two back to deck to um, stride for free. So I think just because of that, uh, this deck is we're talking about a bit right now. And so without further ado, let's get on with the list. So uh, starter is uh, Luchi, I think is this name. Uh, uh, rear guard circle. If you're uh, forerunner has resist, and then uh, when this student is retired for the cost of uh, your deleter's uh, effect, you can uh, choose uh, one card in your opponent's back row and lock it, and uh, vanish the one card in the drop zone. So, vanish delete the whole gimmick. Vanish delete is uh, you bind cards in their drop zone face down, and uh, that's always random. So, uh, you bind cards in their drop zone at random face down, and the payout for that is. Uh, we get to it, but it's your Igor with your stride. Uh, you hit enough, you get you get a win con off of it. So uh, it's, uh, th that's cool. But uh, the reason why this deck is because the advantage that gets rid of the great ones in the war drop zone, meaning they'll never hit ritual count for stuff like Ogma and uh, yeah stuff like that. So we play the starter because this card lets you get an extra you get an extra bind, get a lock, and uh, this starter is also retrievable from drop zone with gray on skill and great rise on top of it. So uh, that's cool. So that's why I play the starter. Uh, great, that's, uh, for grade 1, I play for 3 Gunix, uh, so last you draw 1. Uh, this deck does have the Nega card every time to pay for its cost. Gunix lets you turn that into a break even, so last you draw 1 is very nice. Uh, for this grade 1, his skill is, uh, if your Vanguard is the deleter, uh, if your, if your opponent's Vanguard is deleted, you can put, or, uh, then in general, if your Vanguard is the deleter, you can put into soul to, uh, vanish delete 2 cards your opponent's drop zone, so this card, uh, gets rid of stuff in your drop zone, helps you, um, Accelerate their drop zone bind if you're actually going for the win con, uh, but it also fills out souls so you can actually use Gunic more often. Uh, two drowns, his skill is when this unit boosts a deleter vanguard, uh, and at the end of the boost the deleter vanguard, you can put it into soul, discard one card from your hand, draw two, and uh, vanish delete one card from the drop zone. So this card really helps you cycle for cards, but uh, this card's a little awkward just because of uh, the fact that it's, it is technically still a brick even, it is not a plus in advantage because. Uh, you lose the drown to soul, you lose a card in hand to draw two. So you uh, lost the equivalent of two cards to draw two cards, but this card early is very nice, helps you cycle for cards, and that's lots the reason why I play it. Uh, draw it early, pretty nice, draw it late, it can be okay, but uh, playing too many will leave, has quite a bit of issues. One, uh, this deck can potentially run the risk of deck if you draw too much, so there's that, and then um, sometimes, and since it only works in boosting banger, you can't use multiple in terms of, you draw too many, they just end up being bricks. But, but to be fair, you can't just stack them off as a, uh, retire material for uh, your deleter's effects bow. There's that, but uh, personally, I think two is a good number for this card. And finally, we played the, we played the new deleter PG. Its skill basically never comes up. I only play it because it is deleter name. Uh, in case I need to uh, retire a card for uh, for cost, and I only have like guards in hand. Heal cards aren't deleter name. And if I play the CC PG, uh, those are also not deleter name. And I think this deck doesn't suffer from doesn't have enough CP issues for me to want to play. The CC PG over a not on name PG, but its actual effect is uh, if, if this card's PG, if this card's proc as a PG, and, he, and you have another copy of it, 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 in the, it in the drop zone, uh, when your opponent's Vanguard is undeleted, you, you re delete it at the start of their turn. So uh, that only works if your opponent doesn't strike. If they strike on top of it, their Vanguard becomes uh, undeleted at the end of their turn. So um, if your opponent can't strike for whatever reason, this PG will re delete for you for free. So that's cool. But uh, every deck in this game now is striding, uh, and if you see this, they will. Play around this by striding, so I think just because of that, this card's second pick is basically irrelevant. But uh, it's between this or the old Delu PG, and in which case, this one has a potential upside as compared to the other one, so that's why we choose to play this one instead. And then on to grade twos, my one of is the Clipping Deleter Evo. 
on play in my opponent's Vanguard. If your opponent's Vanguard is deleted, you can CB2 to call any deleter from your deck that is not a copy of itself. So uh, you, you like before, in the old deleter, I can use this to call the locker. Uh, so you can use this to call this dude, which is pretty good, which we'll go over that later. Uh, you can call this dude, it's also pretty good. Uh, if you're playing for Wincon, you can uh, call this dude to turbo their, uh, turbo their bind zone. So uh, pretty flexible, which is the one of. Before I was playing the C's on hit CC, but I just never found a use for it, so that's why we're onto one of this card now. Uh, I've been pretty happy every time I've seen this as a one of, so I think it's probably the best one of to play. Uh, next up, we have two uh, Gailies, I think. Uh, but he's the mate to the Z to the Zaley, I think. I think got the names right, but uh, his skill is on play for once Vanguard's deleted. Uh, lock one in the front row regard, so locking the front row always good. Uh, for free is always really nice, so. For this card, this card slows the game down, stops you from playing the game for like a turn if you have double of these, so. I think this card is still very, very valuable to play. Uh, uh, the cards that some I see some people play that I personally do not are the left and right arms. Like, uh, in the right arm on play, for once Vanguard's deleting, you can call the left arm from deck. It is a plus, but the left arm's effect is makes it, or one of, the, one of them makes it so if you're going to call the top card of their deck, uh, the start of their turn, and then you get the CZ one if they call something, so. It's kind of awkward like that because you don't really want to give your point free cards, so that, that's personally why I choose, choose not to play it. And there's also the fact that one of those arms is an 8k base and that kind of sucks running into intercepts sometimes, so. And it's personally why I choose to not run those. Uh, but yeah, uh, that's it for the locker. Uh, the next, this this guy, uh, this guy is actually really good. Uh, his skill is uh, a continuous during both players' turn. Uh, the Zuni gets plus 1k per uh, face down card on your opponent's mind zone. So uh, the more you have, the bigger this thing becomes. Uh, so, for example, if you have five, your opponent has like five cards in your bind zone, it's a 12k cross turn, which is really nice. And uh, if you hold this card for really late in the game, at some point, if you just keep locking their back row, because a lock card, then this deck lets you lock back row for free. Uh, or, uh, it, or it locks back row as a part of its delete co delete effect. So, uh, this card, at some point, which is follow control, your opponent's deck does not, not have retire. Uh, this card becomes a pain in the ass to deal with, because uh, at some point, this thing will be like a 17, 18, maybe even like 20k plus intercept. And uh, if you can't retire, they have to actually attack into it. And uh, they're... Uh, if their back row is locked, the rear spot can't hit into it. Uh, they have to strive with the front run Vanguard into it, so uh, this card can be very, very annoying in some matchups, so yeah. And its other skill is also relevant. Uh, uh, at the end of the battle, your deleter Vanguard attacked a Vanguard. Uh, you can, uh, you vanish the one random card in their, you vanish the one card in their, in their uh, drop zone, so uh, it helps uh, speed up the bind. It helps, it's going to be annoying later on in the game. And again, against a deck that don't have retire match, don't have retire, you can just leave two of these in the back in the back row and get two, a plus two bind every single turn every time your Vanguard attacks the band. So this card is actually very, very good. I think it's probably like one of the best cards in this deck uh, for what this deck is trying to do. So definitely, definitely should max on this. And then uh, the other card I choose max on is the Swift Deleter Geely. His skill is on place. Your Vanguard is a gray. So uh, the grays are gray on and gray dull. So none of the old ones, uh, just the two new ones. Uh, on play, if your, point, if your Vanguard is a gray, uh, you can um, retire one of your deleted rear guards to retire one of your opponent's front row rear guards at random. So uh, pop one of the front rows at random and then uh, vanish delete one and then uh, give itself plus 2k. So it turns itself to a solo attacker, helps you retire to push, and uh, just overall pretty nice. I think this card's pretty good. Uh, I think this card is like a slightly worse version of this card because it lock it retires that blocks, but uh, it does vanish delete, it does... Uh, it does uh, get more power, so it scales our on your point Vanguard is not deleted. So I think this card is actually still a pretty nice addition and gives you more ways to push for damage if you need to. As, as opposed to before, you basically only have the locker. So having more copies of this is definitely really nice. So yeah, uh, for this. And uh, that's for the grade twos. Finally, arms grade, the grade threes are the triggers. Uh, four heal guards. Heal guards are still heal guards. Still, still, no, reason not, still no reason not to play them. Uh, so four heal guards. Uh, two of the legions. Uh, his skill is on legion CB1, discard deleter to... Uh, to delete your opponent's Vanguard, and then if they want to rewrite, they have to uh, discard a card, and then uh, this unit attacks Vanguard plus 2k. So I only play, I choose to play two Legions because sometimes it just runs the risk of potential deck out. So uh, that because of that, I choose to play two Legions just in case I need someone to put cards back into my deck. Uh, it doesn't come up too often, but I do think it comes at, there's a, the chances of it happening come up often enough that I want to play an extra copy to maybe see it like once a game. So uh, that's why I play two of it. At worst, it is. Stride fodder, so uh, it's not even the worst thing in the world just to play this. So yeah, that's personally why I choose to play two of it. Uh, four of your main ride, the Grayon. The skill is uh, CB2, uh, del uh, retire deleter rear to uh, delete your opponent's vanguard. Uh, lock one of your choose one of your opponent's background, lock it, and vanish delete one. And then uh, on play, uh, vanish delete two, uh, vanish delete two. And then when a gray doll rides on top of it, you can call the starter from drop zone back onto the board. So. Uh, 
the first skill, the delete skill doesn't come up too often because you're usually striding into Igor because uh, CB2 is rather expensive. C Igor is only CB1 to delete to do very similar things to this card. Uh, the on play skill is very relevant because uh, getting plus two bind is very nice. If you reride, you can just uh, get two extra cards every time you reride. But rewriting does not come up too often. It's like just because of the fact that uh, this like, isn't playing three one stride fodder, so you will need to toss three to stride every single turn. So uh, sometimes a lot of times you have to decide between uh, rewriting and then hard striding or just tossing this to stride. And usually, usually just tossing the stride is the better decision. And then uh, this skill, uh, the great all rise on top of the rise on top of it to. Uh, call the uh, starter back to from drop to, uh, drop to board doesn't come too often as well because realistically again you don't want to be rewriting in this deck but uh, it comes up sometimes if you just can't if you just uh, don't have the CB to delete because great all deletes for free so yeah so uh, in matchups like for example zero damage lure, if, they're, if they're insistent on giving you zero damage uh, the great all lets you delete for free and you get a card back from it uh, you get a card back from it for free if you do ride the great all so and yeah so. Uh, this is your main ride, uh, mainly because of its on ride plus uh, delete, delete, uh, vanish state two, uh, vanish delete two effect, just because uh, it gets two cards out of the front drop zone. So yeah. And finally, last grade three plays three great all. Uh, once per turn, you can choose a great on from your soul. So uh, this card from your soul, and uh, move and uh, soul blast it out, or just move it out of your soul, and then retire one delete a rear guard to um, delete your opponent's uh, vanguard, and then vanish delete one, and then. Uh, on hit to van, CB1, check top 10 cards of your deck and uh, and uh, choose a gray arm from among them at your soul and then retire one of your points, uh, uh, one, one of your points back row rears and then banish sleep one. So uh, this card can only delete if you have a gray on a soul, which kind of sucks, but it does have a way to find it. So if you go first, you can hit with this and CB1 to search to get a delete for next turn. Uh, but uh, you mainly, you only write into this when you have no CB to delete with and you still want to delete. So that's basically what it's, uh, what it's here for. But uh, the real reason why we even play this card to begin with is because it has great in name and uh, cards like this need a great vanguard to actually do anything so that's why I choose to play three of this instead of just like except instead of three that will max on the legion so yeah uh, that's it for the grade three for the main deck G zone one Madu there's two legions in here you never know it might come up so that's why I play one of this uh, three uh, judgment messiahs uh, honestly speaking I think there actually is a reason to play four of this in the current meta just because of again zero damage lord uh big crunch doesn't actually come up too often so i honestly think one pair is enough you can do something like uh four judgment messiahs two big crunch and two medus or like one medu one amnesty for an unlock or something but uh uh if you don't know this card's on hit lock a back row uh locking luard's back row can be annoying for them because it gives them less things to uh sack off for cost if you just jail their entire back row they can't use luard's trap bonus at all whatsoever and uh one more card that's locked is one less card they can sack off for augma skill so I think this card, and I think Judgment Sight just being a free on hit lock is uh, actually pretty relevant in uh, in that matchup. But other than that, uh, you're basically striding Judgment Sight once your first right and then trying to equal every turn after that. So uh, rest of your Gizone, the rest of your Gizone actually a bunch of filler for the most part. It's usually usually the the game plan of this deck is Judgment Sight once and then Igor three to like upwards of two to two to three maybe four times. So. Uh, a lot of this is just extra filler, uh, big crunch, you can lock a column for free. Uh, sometimes it comes up you just need to end the game, but uh, I think having one pair of big crunch is relevant enough that you want the one pair. Uh, the second pair, I, I can confidently say I don't think has ever come up for me, so uh, there's that. I just play four because I have it, but realistic, realistically speaking, I think two is more than enough for big crunch. And finally, uh, Igorg, GB2, once per turn, or you can run, uh, retire a delete or rear and uh, CB1. To delete your opponent's vanguard and vanish delete one and uh, lock uh, one card in your opponent's back row then uh so uh so C uh, cb1 oh uh, you know your heart is a delete for right your, your heart is a deleter cb1 retire a deleter rear to delete your opponent's vanguard lock one card in your opponent's back row vanish delete one and then if you have your opponent has a uh, five or more cards face five or more cards vanish deleted draw one if they have 10 choose one of your opponent's uh, rear guards and retire it and if you have 13 in your points, uh, if your points has 13 cards vanished deleted, and um, they have four or more damage, you win the game. So, uh, so the skill you will always get, regardless of how much is in their uh, bind zone, is uh, delete, lock up acro, vanish delete one. If you have five, you draw one. If you have ten, you get one extra retire. And if you have uh, 13, you win the game. If they have four or more cards in damage. Zone. So, uh, but this card's really only played because uh, the the draw one refunds its cost, and then uh, the delete. 
and then uh, you get a delete and a bot and a lock and a banish lead. So this card does uh, quite a bit in my opinion for the deck. A uh, very very good card. I think that's definitely the reason one. The reason why this deck is actually playable now because delete cost is actually manageable now. You break even for for the retire cost and you delete and you get a bunch of extra uh, goodies on top of it. So yeah, very good card and definitely. Uh, definitely a four because uh, even though you only really go into three on average per game, the fourth one might come up and you do want it. So yeah. Uh, and another upside for this deck, it is actually a very much a budget deck. Uh, you can see, I have four big crunch being the only GRs, but like I but like I said before, you would think you only need two. So yeah, uh, very cheap deck. Uh, good anti meta to the current meta on JP right now with uh, Lua running around everywhere. So yeah. So uh, after this, I have some games for you guys as per usual. Tell me guys what you think below down. Th tell me guys what you think about this deck down below in the comments and I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.